So the, so the second big news of the last few weeks is that you came third in the Greater Manchester mayoral elections, Nick, I believe. Yes. So Andy Burnham was way ahead with 63%. So um, he won. Tories came second with 10%. I came third with 7.5%, which equates to 50, over 50,000 votes. And I, and I, if I could just say... Um, to you and, and to the, the gentle listeners, I think that is a phenomenal result. 50,000 people, hate to go back to United, but that, no. that nearly fills Old Trafford. 50,000 no. people voted for you. Mm. You came third, but you also beat the Greens, the Lib Dems, and the Reform Party. Yeah. Which is a hell of an achievement, if you think about it. I mean, those mm. the Greens and the Lib Dems are very well established. Reform is surging ahead in the polls but you beat them you came third i mean were you you were you surprised by that result on election slightly insulting question (laughs) on this saturday afternoon when it was announced because we had to wait two days for the results when it was announced on the saturday afternoon my initial response was a little bit disappointment that i didn't come second at that point then i knew i wasn't going to beat andy burnham i'd had people emailing me from different counts across greater manchester telling me Andy Burnham's done fantastic again. So I knew he was going to win. I was still hoping to come second. Second would have been... Second would have been... Big news. Would have been me winning, really. Yes, yeah. Um, I would have been national news across the country. It would have yeah. been a great platform to carry on the fight and the struggle. Um, but I always want to do better. There's all, you're, you can always do better. Yeah. So, um, But once I got over that a couple of days later and I thought about it and it was like third place, look at the parties I've beat, got my deposit back. If you'd have told me this 15 months ago, I'd have snapped your hand, hand off. off. Yeah. So, yeah. So, so I am happy with third place. It's it's a shame we form UK stood because yeah. if they hadn't have stood, I would have come second with yeah. 100,000 votes. Um, but maybe, or maybe they dragged votes away from the Tories, which gave you your opportunity to come third, possibly. Um, no, I think those votes abandoned the Tories and were looking for somewhere else to go. I think they yeah. probably most of them would have come to me. Yeah. But people are entitled to stand. No one, yeah. no one knows you a favour in politics, so they were entitled to stand, and they did. Um, I'm glad I beat them, though. Yeah. Um, so I'm happy with third. I think for an independent with no team with no money, with no back office, with really no experience, making it up as I went along and learning along the way, I think it was a hell of an achievement, really. Yeah, I, I, and I, I meant to tell you, I was, I actually got, probably for the first time in my life, the thrill of understanding what politics is about and winning in politics as well. Because even though we didn't win, and I'm yeah. using the royal we yeah, now, yeah, because... Yeah, yeah. When the results came through, I started saying to people, "We came, we came third. Yeah. Uh, and I was telling people, and people were impressed. Mm. So when I was saying to my friends and, and family, you know, we, we came third, and I was taking some some vicarious uh, winning thrill from that as well, yeah. saying that we, you know, I so I've been part. But, but so you should, because yes. you've supported me for a year and a half. Yes. Uh, yeah. You've done these podcasts, you've been very supportive, yeah. you've helped me but in lots of different ways. So this result wasn't just about me, it was about people like you. Yes. It was about all the supporters online who watched this podcast, who yeah. shared everything. I mean, I had about a dozen people online who were hijacking other people's posts and just bombard them with, vote Nick, vote Nick. Yeah. So yeah. the news had put some out, and then they'll go and even go, yeah. vote Nick, book, leave it. So all those people helped. And, and, and I think that's the point. I think anybody who assisted you, and I include myself out mm. and the guy, and everybody out there, there is a, there is a real thrill to it. Mm. And I felt really proud of you, and I really felt proud mm. of what we'd done. And I was telling everybody, I was saying, even people I'd never mentioned it before, mm. I was saying, oh, I... I worked with Nick Buckley on this campaign, and we came third. You know, we got fifty thousand votes. Yeah. And we came, and, and it's you get a you get a real frisson of what success in that. And yeah, I'm not talking about there's there's lots of other successes I've had in life and business and things like that. But this was very different. It yeah. felt very very different. And I and I, I thought you know you should be really proud of what you did because it was mm. a hell of an achievement. But more than that, for me, I thought if there's something else that comes along. You have a really good chance now yeah. to win based on the fact you got 50,000 votes here, 
with a bit more around you, a bit more substance, more apparatus around you, mm. the election apparatus, the chances of you actually winning something mm. suddenly became very real for me. So for me, it was, I think it was maybe more exciting in some ways yeah. for me than it was for you. Because I, I, I mean, I enjoyed our chats and everything like that, but did I think you, did I think you would do as well as you did? I didn't, if I'm, and it's a horrible thing yeah. to say that. It sounds like Man United. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> But I, I, so I was shocked, but thrilled as yeah. well. 